Alan, over to you. Great, thanks, Alex. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're, we're demonstrating just the, the routine trimming of cows. These cows we've got are in late lactation. The owner of the, the cattle said they would be just about due to be dried off. And this is about the ideal time if you were doing them once a year. And straight away by lifting that up, you can see we've got some nice problems here in the heel to, to solve. So it's quite interesting for you to see. Every single foot we work to the same pattern. We st on the back feet we start off by measuring the inside claw. And the correct measurement that we work to with the Dutch method is seven and a half centimetres from the hairline there down to the toe. And on me it's the first joint of my four fingers. So every single cow I put my four fingers through there and measure. And this one only needs about half an inch or so off. And even if the, the foot was right down there, I could trim it back to seven and a half centimetres, knowing I wouldn't hit any blood. So again, just measure the inside claw, take it off to the right length, and then just take out that curl as well on the clippers, and then take off the outside claw to the same length. And immediately when you stand behind here, you can see she's carrying all the weight on this outside claw. On the back feet, it's this outside claw that takes all the pressure, all the turning and twisting. So that produces more growth. And at the moment, it's about half an inch height difference between that and the inside claw. So I'm going to start off by what we call stabilizing the inside claw. And this inside claw is quite good. If I put my knife on it there like that, it's sitting quite flat, so there's very little to come off. So all I'm going to do is just level off the toe. And then just to show you what we do, I'll tidy up the inside of that claw, just take the weight off the pedal bone, and then just get rid of all the cracks in the heels. And I'm leaving as much surface area on the floor for the cow to walk on, and that's nice and flat, and that's all there is to do to the inside claw. Although it's all dirty here and everything, there's no need to take a layer of that off. If I start taking more off that to make it nice and shiny and clean, I'm reducing the height in that claw, so therefore I'm going to take this claw down even more, and, but I want a nice strong claw there for it to walk on to give this one a rest. So then I'm just going to take the height down in this one. Again, nice, long, clean. Come on. Close. Come on. Stand still. You can see the discoloration in that hoof. That's purely because you've been carrying all the weight on that claw. And it gets nice, long, even cuts from the heel down to the toe. And again, keeping it as nice and flat as possible. The temptation is to take the inside away because that horn is softer, but then you'll end up with a hoof sloping in like that and she'll be carrying all the weight here on this outside claw. So basically she's walking like that on the outside of the foot and then you're putting more pressure on this outside wall. Then once you've reduced the height in the claw, you can really see the bruise in there. And then just take down the inside wall. And really distinct bruise in there, which eventually would have become an ulcer. It's a real ideal one to, to show. That's a real good one. And all that bruise in there is, it's the, it's the weight pressing on the pedal bone. The pedal bone, the very last bone at the bottom of the foot, has a funny little spur on it. And when the foot gets overgrown like that, it presses the quick, which is the inside of the foot where all the nerve endings and the blood capillaries are. It presses onto that pedal bone. And it starts by bruising like this. So at this stage, you can just cut it out, take as much pressure off it as possible and uh, just feel how soft it is just keep taking as much as a dare off purely by taking all the weight and the pressure off that one spot I've relieved the pressure and taken all the weight off that claw and because it was so bruised I'm going to take a little more height off it to try and get as much onto that as possible. That, Alan, is a classic example of a sole ulcer in two months' time, isn't it? Oh, definitely, yeah. Less than that. If, uh, 
that is just starting to move under the thumb now, so I'm, I'm going to stop. You can see I'm just feeling that. But I've reduced the height, I've got as much on that as possible. I just take a little bit more off this heel to try and make sure I've got the, the weight. And then I'll just tidy. Now, in two months or a month's time, when that became a sole ulcer, I would have glued a block on this inside claw 